Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Colmston Farm here in Farming Simulator 22 with me, C. Wally. I finished doing the mowing and I finished doing the tedding, so I'm just quickly taking the, uh, the tractor back to the farm. Or should I say the mowy units back to the farm. And then um, I can get on with baling, uh, windrowing and baling the hay that I've produced in the last video. And then we can get the bales picked up and transported, get them moved to wherever it is they need moving to. Looks like we've got some honey to collect as well. Right, I've left that gate closed deliberately on purpose. So I can't get in there. Right, let's get the honey shifted, shall we? Quickly while we're here. I did move the honey spawn point a couple of days ago to make it a little bit easier to access all the honey this thing produces. There's even some bread, look. We'll, we'll quickly pick up the bread too. We sell a lot of bee juice, ladies and gents. Bee juice is probably one of our, our most popular exports, I think. I don't know if we've got any more bread. We've got a little bit. Fortunately, I'm a bit overloaded, so I'm going to come and pick up the next load. Might as well just clear out these spaces. It only takes a couple of minutes, doesn't it? Fill up the Farkland Farm shop. Provide the customers with all their wonderful shopping products. Locally produced, homegrown. Support your local farmer products. So it helps make us quite a bit nice bit of money being able to sell this. Any more? A little bit more. There we go. Right. That's that's not bad. That's like thirty odd thousand. Right, ladies and gents, here comes the part that everybody's been waiting for. The bit where we just do bailing. And like I say, we are producing hay bales. And these are 6,500 litres each. I like this setup though. Doing the grass this way is uh, very good.
because it saves wind rowing it separately and then uh, doing the uh, Normally you'd wind row as a separate process and then you'd have to drive over the field again, do your bailing. Whereas now I'm doing the wind rowing and bailing in one process. So cuts down on the work a little bit for me. I think the bale trailer is still parked up near the um, production factories, me bale collector. That silly trailer, the one that doesn't have any tension straps, you know that one? <laughs> That's very useless for transporting pallets. It's still parked up at the, because uh, it does auto load bales. So I've kind of kept it for that reason. But. I must admit, I'm tempted to switch over to start using um, Loki's Universal Auto Load mod rather than the Auto Load Specialization mods. Because um, Loki's mod will do bales too. Although I'm not sure if he does round ones yet or whether he's only doing square bales at the present moment. Uh, I'd need to check back before I commit to a switching mods at this point in a series and stripping out my mod folder deleting a load of mods and then adding a couple of new ones I do like this fast bail because it just keeps going. I haven't got to keep stopping to manually unload the round bales. Don't think I've done any, any square. Well, apart from how baler on where I do square bales, but that's just purely because the bales I produce feed cheap. Um, I haven't done square baling in. FS22, I've nearly always done round bailing now. Again, with built in wrappers on the bales, there's very little reason for me to do separate bailing and wrapping.
on to bail. And that's usually when bales will start to roll away. Although I am using the Lazy Bales mod, and the bales don't tend to roll on slopey fields, I have found that with that mod installed, if you happen to catch the mod, the bale after it's been put down, then it can be affected by gravity and it can start to roll and do strange things. A nice nice day nice june day like i say we will have massive harvesting to do soon straw collecting again again i probably do might do the straw with bales you know in bales because again i just think i can carry more bales than i can loose straw It's nice that I've got 84 grand in the bank. Because it's... Uh, nice to think that I can probably buy cows too. <laughs> and get a couple of them put in. The trouble is I'm going to need a, a TMR mixer, aren't I? And that's the one thing I don't have at the moment, is a way of producing TMR. And if you're not producing TMR, cows aren't really that productive. And pretty much, if you're able to produce TMR, that's all you want to feed them.
Oh, I'm running over a bale. Running over a bale. Two rows left to do on this field. Not bad at all, I would say. The Lambo's doing its job. Wouldn't expect anything less, would we, from the Lambo? A great tractor. It is. It's a brilliant tractor. I don't agree. It's not too big at all. It's not too big. <laughs> the shed's too little. Oh, I can't wait for season two of Clarkson's Farm. It's going to be brilliant. Let's see what crazy antics they've got up to this last year. Ladies and gents. That field has been bailed. Oh. Now this is the problem you see now. You've got overhanging branches to deal with. Getting around the map. I mean, this rake on the front of the tractor is quite difficult with some of these trees that overhang the roadside. Strange music coming from. Every time I drive down here, there's strange music. No, that's not the way to my farm. Or my next field, should I say. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to save bailing this field till the very last moment. I'm going to grab the class again and go fetch me bale trailer. I'm going to pick up those hay bales. I 
because I want to see if I can put them in the silo. I'm just going to park him there. Um, I'm going to have to swing back to the cow farm though. Because, ladies and gents, I need to move that loading wagon because that's going to be blocking my unloading point. I should have moved that really after doing the uh, silage. But after doing the silage, I haven't 100% committed to doing the bales. I was thinking I might have done loading wagon. I might have been picking up the hay with the loading wagon. And as a result of that, I hadn't necessarily planned for. I'm just going to leave that there now. I'm going to drive all the way up to the fa factories. I need to get my pallet uh, bale trailer. can actually drive a little bit in cab in the class because the camera's not messed up in the class. I don't know why it's messed up in the Lamborghini. There shouldn't be any reason for the Lamborghini to be broken. The only thing I could do, the only thing I could try is to sell the Lamborghini, buy a new one and see if it's a problem with all Lamborghinis or whether it's just something that's gone wrong with that one and buying a new one will um, fix it We'll drive back the scenic Why? Sorghum's growing. Hope that's sorghum. <laughs> yes, it is. <sighs> Just checking. Because uh, I have had some weird thing issues in this game just lately with things not matching up. You know, you look you think you've got one item selected and then something else is selected. Like like in multiplayer the other night. I was looking at my silo in multiplayer, okay, and I was looking at what I'd got in my silo, and I was convinced I'd got 89,000 litres of sunflowers in the silo, and I was like, that's awesome. I'll be able to take that and um, produce sunflower oil. When I went to the silo and tried to empty the sunflowers out of the silo into my trailer, it wouldn't give me any sunflowers. 
it kept glitching and they like one empty and then Mr. Helgi comes over and says let me have a go see if I can do it he jumps in the tractor opens up the silo and he's like there's no sunflowers in here and I'm like what are you talking about Willis what are you talking about Willis there's 89,000 litres of soybeans in there he's like no there isn't uh, sunflowers. There's, there isn't 89,000 litres of sunflowers in there at all. I was like, there is. He's like, no. It says there's 89,000 litres of soybeans in the silo. But not um, sunflowers. So yeah, very weird. He was, I was seeing different stuff to him. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't have 89,000 litres of sunflowers to sell or turn into a sunflower oil. I've got 89,000 litres of soybeans, which can't sell to, can't sell until July, unfortunately. So yeah, weird things are still a thought and occurring to me in, in, in the game since the last update. Uh, I sometimes will double, triple and quadruple check things now. Oh, hello. I've got bales. Okay. I don't remember them stacking this way before. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they've always stacked this way. It's quite poor that this mod, whoever modded this, didn't put straps on the trailers. I think that's quite an oversight, really. And they should have had straps for the um, bales and pallets. But I do like that I get to, uh, I get to, um, transport 28 at a time. I think that's pretty groovy. Bingo banga bongo. My bales are now in storage. 
definitely think that's a quicker way of transporting the bales, ladies and gents, than doing it via loading wagon. Definitely. I think if you've got a lot of stuff, that is the way to transport it. So, like, when we come to do the straw on field six, we'll be baling the straw. What's this place? It's making the noise. some more bales. Never know, I might be able to get this field re-sprayed, you know. My other grass fields I haven't sprayed. Because they've got the silage bales sitting on them. Whereas obviously this field is now ready for fertilising again. And because it's a big field, it's probably worth doing it. I would say. So I might bring my sprayer over here and do this field instead. Since as as I can't do field 23 yet. I do I could do if I to be honest if I whiz round with the baler got all the bales picked up off the other fields and stood somewhere um to ferment I could probably whiz round and spray all the other fields as well I mean, let's see. Could I spray this field with the bales on it? Apparently I could. Hmm. Maybe. The only trouble is I'm going to run over bales. Mm. Oh, bales are going to get in my way. The trees certainly are.
So let's not go right up to the edge where I've mowed. A fun fact, I can increase my next yield then whilst the bales are still sat on the field. Because I can spray over them. The spray is tall enough that it will spray over all the bales. That's okay, I'm not going to grumble about that. I know we haven't got quite got all the edges, but we've fertilised the majority of the field. Which had bales on it, so um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I can get all the field sprayed again and then we'll be able to have another mow towards the end of the autumn. I do like the random bale colours though. The random bale colours are, are a fun little mod. <laughs> Again, try and spray most of this grass in one go. Seems like we've done it. <laughs> Isn't it? Field was easy to do.
Nice to see this sprayer unfolds a bit quicker than the one we've got on multiplayer. We've got the new Holland one and that thing takes days to unfold. Hey look, do a bit of free fertilising of matey's field, shall I? While I'm here. Boost his next crop. Whatever he's planting. Right then, ladies and gents. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've reached the end of today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure you've clicked that like button to let me know that you've enjoyed the episode. Make sure you leave your comments for the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so. And uh, share the video with everyone you can, everywhere you can. I've been C. Wally. This has been Calmston Farm, and I will see you all again very soon for another episode. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Goodbye for now.